Memorizer 92. I mean, what am I going to say, right? This guy's 100% packing. He is the Giga Chad. He has 200 plus girlfriends. Do you guys think he got those 200 plus girlfriends because he's a goddamn wimp? There is no fucking way. Memorizer out here, he will smoke your ass. Yep, boxing tier list. If we were to put them in a boxing ring with each other, who would come out on top? Can I box Hail? No. I will get folded instantly. D Miso. Fucking wimp. True. Pretty sure John Marco will smoke everyone here. Let's see here. Right? So, I don't know about that. Because we have Sharpie. I feel like Sharpie is 100% S tier. There is no way Sharpie is losing in a fucking fight to anybody. That man literally was in the military. That man was literally in the fucking military. Easy S, exactly. Draw the Koreans? I mean, the thing is with the Koreans, right? I don't think the military training is kind of the same as like military. I, I don't know. This is just off of conjecture, conjecture, right? This is just off of conjecture. I feel like because everybody has to go through it, whether you're like some like battle hardened dude versus not, I feel like just because you've gone through military training doesn't mean you're actually ready for the military. It means like, for example, if you were if we were to enlist, like if there was a massive war going on in Korea, like, yeah, they could technically all be on the front lines. But like, would most of them be good in the front lines? Probably not. But like here, like you only go into the military and train if you are looking to fucking be on the front lines. Right. So the, the fucking training has to be way strict, more stringent. Zeals of the US and Korean army, surely. S? Well, the thing is, how well, when was that? How long ago was it? I don't really see him as that guy, but I don't know. I don't know him very well, right? But let's let's go with the, with the for, for sure winners, right? Mr. John Paul is definitely up here. There is there's no doubt in our mind John Paul is 100% packing. There's no doubt in my mind Mr. John Paul is 100% packing and ready to fucking destroy anybody. If he sees somebody go near his daughter, that, you know, he is going, he is pulling the sleeves up. He is getting ready. Let's say his his uh, his daughter's prom date looks at her in like a, a weird way. Mm -mm. He's rolling up them sleeves and getting in there. He has current shape. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about current, right? We're on current. And Sharpie is lifting. He is going to the gym. That man is, he was former army and but also still keeping it up. John Paul will lock, knock everybody out and look good doing it a hundred percent, right? I honestly think like even like <sighs> there's also like age like, like it's hard because Sharpie has that like army training, but John Paul is John Paul, dude. John Paul is John Paul. If Zeals, if you fight Zeals, you have to fight two work double. That's true. I you see one of the heavyweight bosses who don't look in shape, but they're all deadly. I mean, it's true, but I don't know. It's hard. I, I just don't know. We can put Zeals in A for now, just for that, right? We, we have to go with the, the top tiers first and the bottom tiers, right? Memorizer 92. I mean, what am I going to say, right? This guy is 100% packing. He is the Giga Chad. He has 200 plus girlfriends. Do you guys think he got those 200 plus girlfriends because he's a goddamn wimp? There is no fucking way. Memorizer out here, he will smoke your ass. He's one of those dudes where like, you know, in those animes, right? He's like wears a shirt and he just looks like a fucking normal person. And the moment he needs to go and activate, his shirt just fucking rips. Like, he just gains, like, an 8-pack through the fucking shirt. His arms grow by, like, 20x. He would fucking get in there. <laughs> John would break with, like, a twig. First name memorizer, last name 92. Exactly. Fist of the North Star. Now, you, you guys just don't know. You guys don't know. Memorizer's out here packing. He is fucking packing. He's got that Luffy wheel. Exactly, dude. You get that guy in the fight, he's going to scrap it up and fucking just destroy. Absolutely destroy. There's no fucking way he's not destroying in there. Luffy has powers, so does Memorizer. You think the Memorizer doesn't have powers? Like, you know these comedy relief characters that are all serious so we have one of the best fights in the series? <laughs> is this sexier as a cock tier list? This is a boxing tier list. 
Tofu, I'm pretty sure, D tier until he can snipe? I think so, too. Sadly, Tofu, um, unless you give him a bow and arrow, I don't know if he's going to be really in there. He, I don't know if he's getting in there or not without a bow and arrow. If you give this man a bow and arrow, he's 100% going S tier. But because he doesn't have a bow and arrow at the moment, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't pulling that striker stuff. We you seen Memo? He's all bones? No, 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 no. It's because you haven't seen Memo without a shirt. If you've only seen Memo with the shirt on, if you take the shirt off, you will know the power. But you say that, but he's in a chance of voodoo your way in your doomed? Ah, oh, true. Fuck. Maybe we'll move up up a tier. Like, but the thing is, like, you know, this is a boxing tier list, right? He might be banned for using his voodoo magic. Like, if he goes into the ring and starts chanting some voodoo magic, that might be against the rules, depending on what league you're in. So, yeah, we're not going to put, like, if, if he was allowed to use that shit, maybe he'd be, like, up here, right? But because we don't know, he's probably, he's probably down here. <laughs> true, true. Exhibit A. Oh, no, don't do this. Don't Exhibit do this A. Don't do this to Memo. Don't do this. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, what the? Dude, he's going to get him with a 1-2. He's going to get him with a 1-2. You're lucky she did not see that, man. Ooh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Yo, do you see that? That 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 is the power this man packs, and that is him holding back too. Easy S tier, easy S tier. Benji, easy S tier normally, but the thing is, Benji's like unlike John Paul, right? John Paul is also really really nice, but the thing is, he has the the family, the father buff, right? If anything happens, like, he just thinks about something, you know, happening to his family, and he just fucking rages up and goes in ham. Benji, unfortunately, doesn't really have that. As Giga Chat as he is, he's probably not going to be put in a fist... Like, he's he's going to be holding his swings. Like, he's, he's holding back. He's too nice. He's a gentle giant, exactly. So, like, we, we have to give him a slight downgrade for that, unfortunately. If it wasn't for that, easy S tier. Easy S tier, right? Top of A? Yeah, top of A. We'll put it on top of A. Easy S here, top of A. Maybe piss off and you'll, you'll pop off though. But the thing is, to get to that point is like really hard, right? Getting to a point where you're pissing off Benji might be really hard. Okay, next up, let's do Cody. Where would I rate Cody? Cody is Canadian first, right? First off. So he already automatically has a diva for being Canadian. Because Canadians are very nice people. So, Cody is sadly going to be probably on the either average to lower uh, below average tier. But the thing is, he is a chef, right? So, he could cook up some, like, crazy-ass fucking food. Like, you know, like, when you're in Lost Ark, you go to the fucking chef to, like, cook you up a feast. And you get, like, plus 5% movement speed and attack speed and, like, weapon power. Cody has the ability to do that shit. And because of that, he does kind of get upgraded in tier. He's also progressing with softy. True, true. Is he that thick ass? How does he get a person to hold you down with his ass only? I mean, potentially. But I just, again, I think the Canadian debuff is just very strong, right? Maybe without the Canadian debuff, he would be up here in A tier. But with the Canadian debuff, he probably goes down just a little bit. Kind of, yeah, exactly, exactly. He's big, but it's too nice, exactly. So he drops a little bit because he, he, he's a Canadian, sadly. Um, so we, we put him into B tier. Moving in A tier, I don't know. If anything, it'll be the bottom of A tier, right? Well, we can move this around a little bit later. It, it is what it is. Um, okay, next. Saint. Where would I put Saint? How much drama after the leak of this tier list? Let's hope not much. Let's let's hope not much. I, I, I think I'm being very fair with these things, though. I think the people who are on this list would probably agree about their placements. I think what say when they want to fight like a retired boxer. Yeah, retired boxer. I think you're right. But maybe more like B tier. Again. In his prime, apparently he like you know you guys say like Satan did a lot of sports and worked out. Like maybe the here. But I think because he does have that retired status, he is down a little bit further. He's been a little bit too degen these days. These days, he he like sleeps like a Korean uh, sleep schedule, you know, potentially not getting enough sleep because of that. He's just working hard, doing his streams. He's kind of laid back too. He's got the variety going, right? Kind of like a kind of like a little bit of like that retired kind of feel. 
too many diva for saint yeah and the fact that he's also kind of boring right the boring factor always brings also brings him down a little bit to b tier being such a boring streamer he might not be able to lift his hands up in time it's like a very slow movement right yeah like uh, he, he's the boring he is the boring streamer so he, he's probably moving like a little bit slower than the other guys here so sadly he, he does take a debuff for that stoops is a he is a um how do i say this a surprising entry because recently man has been packing right he has been lifting a lot and working out he's been seeing gains but he does have an injury on his leg though and i feel like that takes him down a little bit on this list like man has been working out but man he does have a weak point that could be exploited exactly his hip is going to put him down for sure like honestly we might even have to put him down further i'm not gonna lie as much as he lifts right he does have a fatal weak point so we might have to put him down just a little bit exactly the, the hip the hip the hip injury really took him out of the running he might even be the lowest on this list i'm not gonna lie he might be lower than tofu he's gonna break his stick arms on his swings but the problem the, the, no, no, he, he doesn't have stick arms anymore I, I don't know if you guys looked he's recently been packing he's been working out he's been looking kind of big i'm the lowest one true i am gonna be the lowest one there's no doubt about it i'm very low on this list He's probably still above El Galia. I do think El Galia is probably pretty low on the list. I'm not going to lie. I think that the reason why he's this low on the list, right? Is if you think about last time, he got he literally got beat by a DI Shadow Hunter. He got beat by a DI Shadow Hunter in Lost Ark. Does that does that give you alpha energy? I don't know. It's kind of Sigma energy to me, uh, or not Sigma, uh, beta, uh, beta energy to me. Like, potentially we could move him a little bit higher, but we've also seen his cameraman antics as well, right? In in the in the dating show with Memorizer, did he step in front of the camera much? Was he the type that to step in front of the camera and assert himself? I didn't really see it. He was the type who was kind of the sit back in the back with his camera. Um, and just watch. Because of that, I don't know. He's kind of lower on the list. Surely Miso be I don't know. I'm I actually would put Kanima kind of further up on this list. He might be a sleeper pick, to be honest. Just like how he sprung out with his like I own eight fucking businesses type of shit um back then. And like nobody knew that fucking shit. Nobody knows it. Canva, uh, Canva is a bit of an enigma in that aspect where there's a lot of hidden things that you don't know. So he could be hidden packing some muscle behind those under that shirt. It's it's it, it, it. We just don't know. He's a bit of a wild card in that aspect. So I'm going to put him up in B tier just because he's kind of like he could go up. He could go down, but it, it is what it is, right? And he also did mention that if Legalia did want to throw hands, he'd be down. I don't think that confidence comes from nowhere, right? He has to be packing somewhere in there to know that and feel that he has the confidence to take on Legalia in a one-on-one. -on -one. If Legalia is packed in the corner, he could channel the power of the rat. Can't remember if it's super fast and calculated. True. Again, I think there is room for, for negotiation movement on this list right now but let's let's just keep this at where it is and keep it going next up atk where would i put atk would it be wrong of me to put him in a tier like he could go for really go for the mental damage like the about to slur situation he really showed his fury like he has it in him right some people on this list probably don't have it in them to actually go at somebody like that which is why, again, John Paul is like super high up in this, and not only because he's a Giga Chad, but like compared to Benji, right? I don't know if Benji like is really gonna be there, and like it's really hard to piss him off and get him to that point where he's gonna put up his fists. But ATK, we've seen him; he has that ability to go up there. Did ATK break a table on stream? Did he? I've never seen that before. He's the person that seems like the person I have experience in the fight. Yeah, I, I think because of that we do put him. 
fight, we do put him up here. I think he's above Cotty, to be honest. So, I think that, so far, looks pretty good, right? Anger is a great fuel source for trying. It's true. Like, the thing is, like, some people... And I was watching this in an anime episode of Windbreakers recently, right? And I, I don't want to spoil or anything. But when those people don't have, like, either the will to fight or, like, emotion behind their fists, it's, like, does no damage. It just doesn't hit the same as if you had emotion and if you had something to fight for. Baker, Big D? Where would I put Baker? With Baker, it's a little bit hard to tell. Because I think with Baker, he could very easily use the power of money and G to G to just buy himself some sort of augment to make it so that he wins wins the fight. Like he could use the power of the wallet and some underhanded strategies and tactics to be able to get to the top. So in, the, in that sense, he's a bit of a wild card like Kanemo, right? If it came down to it, he would use a lot of different tactics to get himself up to the top. If anything, he could get his his band of boys around him to bust him through. He's gonna enter the boxing with two buff. Exactly. He could get the whole like trench coat thing going on, you know, like like the the when you're like short and you're like trying to like act like all big and tall, you like sit on top of each other and get like in a trench coat. Kind of get in there. Stunt double two. True. There's the the thing is he has the Batman power, right? The Batman power of like being able to spend money and swipe for power. So I don't know. I I honestly think he might even be higher on this list. Like Batman is kind of he kind of is the modern day Lost Ark Batman in that sense. Next on this list, Cannon. I think Cannon in his prime could potentially be S tier. But the thing now is that. He's a little bit old these days, right? I think Cannon's pretty old. He's older than all, like me, for sure. I know that. Because Stoops has mentioned that he's older than Stoops. And Stoops is the same as... Same age as I am. We're gonna... He, 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 he could be getting a little bit of the old debuff. The thing is, though, he's kind of, like, packing. And not talk about, like, just the muscle department. But the viscers department, right? He viscers so hard on stream that he got banned. If I were to do this girl on stream, like I would not get TOS because you would not be able to see anything. But this man viscered so hard on stream that he literally got banned on stream for doing it. And because of that, he definitely gets some sort of testosterone buff as well. I think, honestly, Cannon is probably around here. He does have the power of love, right? He does. He does. The thing is, if we put these two in the same room, right? I think Cannon would actually get a buff to S tier. So you know what? I'll put him in S tier. We'll put him in low S tier. I think Memo still has him beat out, but I think overall it would be a, it would be it would be good. Cody A tier is a crime. That's my B tier streamer. What is this? Canadian <laughs> education. <laughs> Wait, Calvin's American though. He has American education. Bone minus B equals. What do you mean bone minus B? The word what bone, the? if you remove the letter B. Oh, is it three? Oh, it's one. Oh, one. it's one. What's six D's? <laughs> yeah, wait, is it one six? <laughs> okay, it's 16, maybe. It is not 16. Okay, it's not 16. One six D? One? I don't know. This is this is not enough conclusive evidence. I wouldn't say this is conclusive evidence for B tier, but we will keep him B tier. I I will I again I am flexible, right? I did say Cody was either a low A tier or a, a, a high B tier. We can put him in B tier. We can put him in B tier. We have we have Calvin here uh, to confirm that he is a B tier. I mean Calvin knows him better than all of us, so I think just just with that we can we we can use that and put him in B tier. Next up. We have Lust Boy. I mean, you guys were saying how Lust Boy was compared to John Cena, right? Lust Boy's silent but deadly. John Cena. The thing is, like, you got to think about it this way, right? Lust Boy is a support at heart. Is he really out there putting on the gloves for himself, though? 
Lost Boy was very savage on the podcast. It is true. He's built different. I think again, Lust Boy is probably at the wild card category along with Kanima. Because there are like he there was a point where he was known as John Cena, right? And we don't know. Especially when it comes to support, it just takes him like like this, right? Just one thing to make them snap. His knowledge of people might get an advantage, it's true. And he did show some savageness on my podcast. Top of B for Lust Boy? We could bring Lust Boy to the top of B. Is Rook A definitely S tier? I mean, I can agree with that. Is Rook A definitely S tier. You can clearly tell that guy's packing, right? But here's the thing. We're starting to run into a situation where we have way too many S tiers. Are, do all these guys deserve to be an S tier? I mean, I kind of agree. All these guys do deserve to be an S tier. I think, honestly, I'm, when it comes down to it, right? No disrespect to Sharpie, but when we get down to it, I feel like we know he he's 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 like the book smart type of guy, you know, because he's been in the army. He trained. He's trained in the army. He still lifts every day, you know, all the time and keeps up his figure. It, 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 it's like he has the stats, right? He's like a stat stick, basically. But the thing is, these guys, they have other things. Like it's like you you don't know he, they, they they might have like fervor they might have like circulate hammer wedge going on we just don't know and that's why I would put them up uh, up there Sharpie and John Paul S plus tier Sharpie not S plus tier why the fuck is Sharpie lower than S Sharpie has seen shit in the army I mean again I do agree right Sharpie has seen shit in the army and originally they he was at the top of the list. How we wake one tier above S plus for Bamboo <laughs> I feel like we'd be adding too many tier lists at that point. Uh, tier, tiers at that point. Maybe what we do is this, right? We do memo. <laughs> Seals and A is going to be fighting Shadow Ball. He does, he is, he is able to use the Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, which nobody else is able to do. Exactly. He's got the military background and he can use Kage Bunshin no Jutsu. Do you guys remember the beginning of Naruto? Do you guys remember how hard that technique carried Naruto through the first and second season? Like, it's crazy. That dude couldn't do anything else other than make shadow clones, but literally was still super strong. What do you guys think for Marcus? I'm I'm tempted to put him in A tier, somewhere in A tier. Marcus has this power to also summon a lot of luck as well into his fights. This man has gotten three sidereal energies, I think, right? So like on top of being able to fight, he's also got that luck factor in him that just it's it could turn the tides completely. And because of that, he gets a boost. He gets a buff. How come I'm not on there? Well, I mean, I could put myself on there, but I, I'd be on I'd be on the bottom. We can put myself here, right? Clearly, I'm down there. There's there's no other place I belong to. We, we honestly might even put myself into my own tier, right? Folding lawn, lawn chair, right? Lawn chair. I'm just foldable. You can fold my ass any day. It is what it is. I, I, I know what I am. I know who I am, especially because I haven't even been doing push ups lately. It's real rough. It's a real rough. Like I, I'm out here sticking bones. Like the thing is, I don't even have the memorizer. Like I, I like memorizer. He might look thinner than me, right? But the thing is, again, he has he. he we've never seen him like without like you've never seen me without a shirt, but I, I you guys know you guys know. It, it, it's not good. It's not good. Actually, that's a lie. There is a a hidden stream a quite a while ago where um, I forgot to turn off the stream when I went to grab dinner and I came um, as a part of that stream. If you guys had were there for it, I was actually in my boxers and no shirt. So if you guys saw that stream. You actually would have seen me without a shirt on. I was uh, I was walking out of the shower with my underwear on, um, putting on my pants without a shirt. It was definitely a big fumble on my end. But whoever got lucky to see that part saw. And the thing is, if you saw that stream, you would know I am not like Memorizer. I think 
Sadly, Revel suffers from the nice guy, the nice guy debuff as well. Kind of like Benji. He sadly suffers from the nice guy debuff like Benji as well. The one of the other big reasons why he's pretty high up on this tier list is because he is he went through the grinder. He went through the 0 to 100. Started from the bottom and now he's here in Lost Ark, right? Anybody who has that level of mental, and remember, mental is a big thing when it comes to fighting. Anybody who's that level of mental can't be low on the tier list. It's true. But he does, again, suffer from the nice guy, uh, the nice guy debuff. Because he's he's a very nice dude. Very nice dude. And again, the kind of the same idea, Dubla as well. Like, I don't know, that man actually, like, I feel like his arms are like the couple times I've snuck a peek, like I've been able to sneak a peek of his arms. He looks big. Man looks big. But sadly, again, he does have that nice guy to debuff. He's got the brain and the brawn. He does. But again, he suffers the nice guy debuff. It, it's the nice guy debuff seems to really be a plague amongst the Lost Ark community. There's too many. It's, it's, it's crazy. It actually is crazy. Shondamon, I'm going to put him in B tier. Somewhere in B tier. I think Shondamon also has the ability to do mental damage. Exactly. The, the, the racism, right? He beats Kati with his racism? Okay, okay, okay. The racism that he brings to the table and the mental damage that he can actually do makes him quite a bit stronger than some of the other contestants on this list. It just is how it is. And it's not like, you know, Tofu, right? Tofu can, like we've said, has some voodoo magic power. But the thing is, voodoo magic can be illegal in certain formats. But racism is just words. And those are things that is not, they're, they're not uh, disallowed in these tournaments. So because of that, he can really just do some mental damage. He did also complete the first. It is true. Again, the mental, right? He he left the he left the static and was able to fucking go and clear the first. He had the mental in him to actually go and take that step of leaving there's the static. I can't do that. I've been in situations where I've been in statics where it clearly was not it, but I just couldn't have the um, couldn't have the mental to actually leave it. And again, because of that, we just put him. We we put him. We put him above Cody, for sure. And then we have a verse. I think a verse. I put him on B tier somewhere. I probably put him on B tier somewhere. I think that if it was a if it was a hands tier list, like a fingers tier list, he might be like up here, right? But the thing is, he's probably worn out his fingers and arms so much just by clicking all those gunslinger buttons over and over again. It, it, it has to be some sort of debuff there, but he does have the skill to kind of make up and go do it. Dubo's a fitness instructor, really? Oh, okay, okay, easy S tier. I, I didn't realize Dubo was a fitness instructor. Like I said, I, I, I've, had, I've seen him pack, I, I've, I've seen his arms, and he seems like he's packing, but I wasn't entirely sure. Put Ice 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 on this tier list, he's, 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 he's Lost Ark streamer. I, I think Ice Ice Ice, if we were to do it physically, purely physic physical alone, he'd probably be down here somewhere. But the thing is, he has the dad buff, right? He has the dad buff. The dad buff is very strong. And then he also has the mind games. He's a goddamn troll, right? He is out here fucking breaking kneecaps just due to sheer wit and mind and and sure uh, mental. And he's also a professional esports player. So the again, the mental game is big. So because of all those factors, we have to at least put him up into A tier. Maybe like the bottom of A tier. I don't, I still don't think, sadly, as witty and as kind of like, you know, and as troll as he is, he doesn't outbeat the guy who is willing to go against the rules. Ice 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 is still a fair player is the problem. And the, the, our, our goat Baker, he doesn't play, play fair. He plays dirty. He's willing to go through all the hoops, jump through every single loophole to be able to win the fight. You think Stoops is easy to add tofu? Super thin? Well, here's the thing, right? I, I mean, would... If we put these two in a head-to-head, -head, 
right? We put soups and tofu in a head-to-head. -head. Who do you guys think would win? I, I Again, we have to keep in mind, soups has the hip debuff, the hip injury debuff that really is crippling in many ways. He has a fatal weak point where if he gets knocked there once, it could be GG. You think the Mexican California would win? Soups will win? Okay, we can swap it. Here's the thing though, I'm kind of rethinking about this, right? Do you guys think that Legalia has somewhat of like the kind of the Baker buff? The problem is though, Baker hasn't been caught for using his underhanded tactics. And Legalia has been caught using underhanded tactics, which could actually just disqualify him from the match completely, which is another angle that I didn't think about in going into this. I don't know if any of you guys are watching Kaiju number eight, right? But fucking the main character, I forget what his name is, right? When he, you know how like everybody puts on the fucking suit and they get like power levels, like boosted, right? Certain people get their power levels boosted by like 60, 80%, right? But the main character only boosts like by 1% or 2%. That's basically me. Even though you insult my K-pop idols and I fucking power up, right? I'm only powering up by 1 to 2%. And at the most, that'll get me up to D tier. But sadly, for the most part, I'm not going to be able to go past that. Yep, this is our tier list, guys. This is our tier list. This is a beautiful tier list, honestly. I think we did I think we did a really good job of doing this.